I am here to increase your vocabulary, to level up your English vocabulary. I am going to teach you how to use some words with a preposition up. In other words, I am going to show you different words that are followed by up, which means that I am going to teach you phrasal verbs with up, the verb plus up. I am going to teach you how to use dry up in English, speak up, drink up, finish up, and other phrasal verbs. Please, you are going to get more if you continue to follow us. Because Pan Edutainment Channel is there to help many people, especially Rwandans. Because sometimes when we teach, we used to mix with Kenya Rwanda. I used to teach you by mixing Kenya Rwanda words, some Kenya Rwanda words, so that you can understand what we are talking about or what we are teaching you. But today, I would like you to follow this lesson very attentively. Uyumusi ndifuza kwa uigiri somoneza. Kuwera kujie kumenya, speak up visoni. Ichi dry up means what? Use up means what? What is the meaning of finish up? What is the meaning of turn up? What is the meaning of drink up? What is the meaning of eat up? And other phrasal verbs we've prepared for you today. Then please, let's get started. Before I start this lesson, I would like to remind you the word of today. The word of today is manish. Manish. This is a woman who behaves or whose characteristics are like those ones of men. That person is called a manish. Manish. Manish no mugore ufite imyitwarire nk'iyabagabo kuburyo umubona mu gihagararo ukabona rwose no mugabo that person is called manish good for example you can say oh yesterday i saw a manish it means that yesterday i saw a woman who behaves or whose characteristics are like those ones of men Eh, ugo wabonye umugore ufite imyitwarire nk'iki nk'iki nk'iyabagabo uwo mugore tumwita manish ubwo tuzareba umugabo nawe ufite imyitwarire nk'iyabagore yitwa womanish next time tuzamureba womanish good then uh, speak up please what is the meaning of speak up to speak up means to speak more loudly to speak more loudly to raise your voice Loudly, that is to speak up, speak up. To speak up, nukuranguru rizgui, nuku vuga nizgui rihejuru. That is to speak up. I can say, shawarakubugani, my dear friends, stop murmuring and speak up. To murmur. Tukwa wanyoko murmuring, yaru kujujura. These people are murmuring, are murmuring. Then you can say, stop murmuring and speak up, please. For example, you are in a meeting. You are the one who is chairing the meeting. My dear friends, stop murmuring and speak up, please. That is to speak up. Please, you should know the meaning of speak up. The second is to dry up. Dry means what? To dry no kumishi chenu. Kwanika kumisha. Dry. Then to dry up means to become completely dry. Kuba wa kwa nikichinu chikuma neza. Kumisha neza. That is to dry up. To dry up. For example, I can say, I don't want you to dry up these clouds. I don't want you to dry up these clouds. Si shaka ko iyimienda uyani kango ibi ngui. You make yani simbi shaka. I don't want you to dry up these gloves. Oh, yesterday I dry up my towel. Ejo numishije 
isume yanje yarumye buru iba urukwikwere that is to dry something up or to dry up something to dry up kumisha ikintu kikuma koko that is to dry up yes speak up kuvuga cyane dry up kugira gute kumisha ikintu kikuma good then uh, here we have to use up use use up use up means to use all or to finish all to use up no gukoresha ikintu kikarangira nta na gato gasigaye that is to use up kugikoresha kikarangira you can use up your money ushora gukoresha amafaranga karangira gasigara zero you have used up your money or you have used your money up for example i can say do you have some money now hari amafaranga ufite ubu ah lend me some money please niza ku mafaranga haru tunugiye gukora nkahita nkubwira ni please my dear i have used it up na yakoresheje i have used it up sorry i have used it yes i have used it up na yakoresheje ya mafaranga na yarangije to use up something oh do you still have a soap i want to wash some clothes please do you still have a soap uracyafite sabune no I have used it up. Yes, abune na ikoresheje yarangiye. To use something up means to finish it all. To finish all or to use all. To finish all or to use all is to use something up. To use up no gusu. Gukoresha ikintu kikarangira. To use up. Good. Let's continue here. Number four, we have finish up. To finish up is to complete an action. To finish up. Finish up is to complete an action. If you finish your job or your reports up, it means that you have completed that action of writing or preparing the reports. That is to finish up. Finish up. Did you finish up those reports? Ese za raporo warazirangije? Yes, I finished them up or I finished up them. Good. That is to finish up. Have you finished up the reports? Yes, please my boss or my employer. I have already finished them up. To finish up means to complete an action. Uh, for example, I, I can uh, I can ask my student, I, I can tell my student to finish up the homework. Is just this means that I want them to complete that action of doing the homework. That is to finish up the homework. Have you finished up the homework? Mwasoje umukoro. Yes teacher, we finished up your homework. That is to finish up. Yes, to complete an action. Gusoze gikorwa wari watangiye. Kikajya ku musozo. That is to finish up. Good. Then here we have number 5 please. Number 5 sentence. To split, to split wene no gucha. To split up or to break up means to end relationship. Or yes, to end the relationship gusoza umubano rufitanye na mugenzi wa especially in love especially in love cyane cyane mu rukundo when you you split up with someone or when you break up with someone uba wa no gusoza nyanyine cyangwa se wara babyita ngo kurangizanya twarangizanyije no gutandukana n'umuntu mu byo rukundo that is to break up or to split up this is not my first time to teach you this I think it's not my first time to teach you break up or split up. To break up nugu nugu shkwana no muntu mu rukundo. Did you break up with her? Washkwanye nawe mwaratandukanye. Yes, I broke up with her because she's a drunk woman. Eh? Natandukanye nawe kuko numusinzi. She drinks a lot of beer or she boozes to booze, a boozer. Do you know a boozer? I think you remember boozer. A boozer is someone who is addicted to beer. Who drinks beer each and every time from morning to evening. That person is called a boozer. Then you can say I broke up with her because she's a boozer. Mu byukuri natandukanye nawe kuko numusinzi utere yaho. Yararangiye. Yes, then we say to split up or to break up, to end relationship. Good. Then here you can say she wants to break up with him. She wants to break up with him. Arashaka gutandukana nawe. Arashaka gucana umubano nawe. 
arashaka ko batazongera kugirana ibintu by'urukundo that is she wants to break up with him then you should understand to break up ahanga ushobora kuhashira to split up she wants to split up with him split up break up means to end relationship then here we have to turn up to turn up means to increase the sound to increase the sound especially when you have some devices like radio television when you are turning up the radio uh, you want to increase the sound of the music that is to turn up turn up turn up for example you can say urujo rushora kuvuga kuti i like this song munda iyi ndirimbo please turn up the sound i want to listen to it carefully ndashaka kuyumva neza turn up the sound cyazo vuga ngo ongera nyongerera kajwi gatoya numva iyi ndirimbo ndayikunda cyane i like this song please turn up the sound please don't turn up the sound i am going to to bed ngiye kuryama i'm very tired don't turn up the sound wigira gute wizamura sound ya radio i am going to bed or don't turn up the sound of the television i am going to bed now i'm very exhausted do you remember to be exhausted is like to be very tired when you are very tired you are very exhausted yes uyuguya gacuho eh ugose umeze nabi ntabwo ubushaka nibindi bintu bigusakuriza ushobora kubwira rero umwana uti my child i don't want you to turn up the sound of the radio because i am going to bed kuko ngiye kuryama then to turn up to dufate ko ari kuzamura volume cyangwa se sound ijwi eh cyane cyane bya televiziyo radio nikindi gikoresho wenda telefone mashine turn up then here to eat up eat up means to eat all of of something when you eat up something you eat all of it no kurya ikintu cyose ntana kantu na gato usigaje did he eat up the 2 kilos of rice eh ibiro bibiri byose yarabimaze yes he ate up the 2 kilos of the rice ibya biro bibiri yarabimaze oh that person is a very good eater <laughs> you know someone who eats a lot is called the eater uh, in english someone who eats uh, is a eater 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 from verb to eat uh, that we have another person who is called the greedy greedy when ni gisambu ushobora kuburya cyane ari kutari gisambu eh birashoboka kuko ushobora kurya ibiro bibiri wabyihahiye ariko nundi yaza ukamuha ikindi kimwe ku ruhande ubwo nturi gisambu kuko niba ufite bitatu karya bibiri undi abandi batanu kabiha kimwe hariya you are not greedy but if you eat alone all the time you don't want to share with us that time you are greedy eh greedy no muntu none w'igisambo urya ushaka kurya we ubwe eh oya nibi ni byange eh yes i want to eat all that this is not good but eater no muntu rya cyane then here to eat up means to eat all of something ushaka kubwira umwana uti my son i want you to eat up this food ubwo ubumubwiye ngo ndashaka kurya ibi biryo kabiranye nta na gato yus na na gakeya usigaje cyana na gato usigaje i want you to eat up this food please my son eat up this food good then after we have to drink up drink up to drink up means to drink all of something no kunwa no no kamaraho byose ukabinywa bikarangira that is drink up for example you can say when i was in her wedding i saw too many people and they are very drunkard eh abo bantu nabasinzi kabisa they were very drunkard bari bari abasinzi bari bari basinzi bari bari mu bukwe they drank up all crates of beer banyoye amakreti yose amakasi ye yose yinzoga barayarangije they drank up or they drank all crates of beer up nabyo birakoreshwa cyangwa they drank up all crates of beer yesterday i was with my friend in the pub ejo nari ndi kumwe n'umugenzi wanje mu kabari he drank up six bottles of beer yanyo ya macupa tandatu yinzoga yose arayarangiza that is to drink up to finish 
to, that is to, to drink all of something or to finish all drinks you are taking or you're having. Yes. Then here you can say, yesterday my children drank up all bottles of soda. Yesterday my children drank up or bottles of soda. This is uh, this is a simple past of of drink drink. This is simple past of drink. Drink up in simple past is drunk up. Then yesterday my children drank up all bottles of soda. Ejo hashize abana banje vanyoye amachupa yose ya soda. Yarari mu rugo wenda. Bara yanyoye byarari twarumiwe. Kwasanze bayanyoye. To drink up means to Drink all of something. To eat up means to eat all of something. Kurja icho chinu chose. Kyangi jobinu jose. Ukabimara. Good. I'm going to teach you some phrasal verbs with the preposition up. Up. Last time, I taught you how to use some phrasal verbs with up. That was the part one of our lesson. Then this is the part two of this lesson where I am going to teach you how to use some different phrasal verbs with up. I've come up with different words, different words that are going to help you improve your vocabulary, improve your English level. We are going to see some words, some phrasal verbs that are always followed by up, preposition up. Before teaching you this lesson, let me give you this word of today as always. I'm going to show you how to pronounce this word. Pronunciation. The pronunciation of this word is failure, failure. Don't say fa failure, failures, no. Failure, failure. Failure, this is the condition of not meeting the intended goals or objectives. The condition of not meeting the intended goals or objectives. We call it failure. Nuburjo umunu atajera kucho yariteze kujeraho. Icho chinurero uburjo failure in English failure the opposite of failure is success failure but success intinzi failure success intinzi yes then here you can say ushobora gukora nk'urugero ushobora gutanga urugero ushobora kuba urugero my sister became discouraged owing to her repeated failures in her business. My sister became discouraged owing to her repeated failures in her business. Nyovango, mushichi wanje, yachitsi neje, Vitewe no gutsin guachane muri business. Repeated failures. Repeated failures no gutsin gua quisubiramo. What sins we know in the nature what sins. Eh, they are attacked, they are cheats in age to be discouraged or to become discouraged. No kujagute, gutakaza in age, and was it kumvutaji komeje. Good. Then please, failure. Failure. Ni jambu gomba gutahana nugu nyo barisoma. Don't say failure. Failure ni bibao. Failure, no. Failure. Failure. Uri ya mwenye jize failure. Failure ni bibao. Negative. No. <laughs> Don't say failure. Many people used to say, to pronounce it as a failure. No. We say failure. Fail. We have a fail and failure. Failure, year. This is year. Failure. Lies. Then, before teaching you the lesson, I do have the new book. This one. This is the new book that is going to help you speak English very well. Hmm? It's a very nice book. 
Wonderful one. Because this book is going to help you in different ways. Iki gitabo kirimo uburyo kibwa kosora makosa y'icyongereza uburyo kibwo gukora interuro nziza grammatical rules harimo amategeko y'ururimi mbega iki gitabo nakibashishikariza iki nacyo murakizi ni cyakindi kigufasha gukora interuro tenses ibintu nk'ibyo ngibyo ngo ino wiga icyongereza kimironko turagukeneye ngo tugushaping tugukure mu muntu ushobora kuvuga ururimi neza Yes, a very good English speaker. Nice. Then, uh, please, my dear friend, try to subscribe. I chidra na kujira ina manu gukora kuri subscribe. Kujira ngo ujiwa na masomo ya chu meza chan. Nice. Good. Catch up. That's the first word of today. Catch up. What is the meaning of catch up? To catch up means to reach somebody who is in front of you. That is to catch up. Eh? Kujira kumunu waruri mbere yao. You can catch up in the class. Yes. You can catch up with the people who are running, then you catch up. You can catch up no mu umunwagut season mitera mbere, ugakura catch up kamujerao. Then that is to catch up. For example, you can say, we stopped running and waited for Salim to catch up. We stopped running and waited for Salim to catch up. Kwareche ya hokuiruka, dute jereza salibu kujira mwaze atu jereho na atwe. To catch up nu kujira kumonduri imbere. To reach someone who is in front of you. In front of. We don't say in front of. In front of. No. In front. Ah. Fra. Front. In front of you. Nice. The second phrasal verb with up is this one. Chop up. To chop up. To chop up means to cut into small pieces. That is to chop up. If you have a piece of meat. Okay, you, if you are going to chop up, you are going to cut it into different pieces. For example, if I take a piece of meat and I chop it up, this means that I am in the, the action of cutting it into different pieces. Gukatagura. For example, onions. If you are in the kitchen, you are going to prepare food. You may chop up your onions. To chop up onions is to cut them into different pieces. Yes. That is to chop up. That is to chop up. Nice. For example, you can say, My mother told me to chop up onions yesterday. Ejo hashize mama yamgiye ko ngomba kugira gute gukatagura ibitunguru that is to chop up chop up nice then to burn up to burn up is to to destroy something completely with fire that is to burn up gutwika ugakuraho ikintu cyose kigashya kigakongoka that is to burn up to burn to burn up. For example, you can say, they burnt up the whole village. They burnt up the whole village. That is to burn up. To burn, simple past of burn is burnt. Then they burnt up the whole village. To burn up means to destroy something completely with fire. With what? With fire. That is to burn up. That is to burn up. Yes. Then number four is to give up. To give up is to cease making an effort. To stop making an effort. To stop doing something. To cease. Stopping. That is to give up. Kure chira hogu kori chinu, changwa gushira mo imbaraga mubjo akoraga. That is to say, he is not a man to give up easily. Usha fuguti, my father is not a man to give up easily. Usha muna shora kuzaka kubirati, did you know, warubizi ko, your father gave up yesterday in that business. He gave up in that business. Ya, ya rareche, ya business ya ivu yemu. Okay, to move you to, no, 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 no. Stop saying that, my dear. My father is not a man to give up easily. 
papa ntabwo ari umuntu wapfa kurekera uko abonye yapfa wapfa kurekera mu buryo bworoshye buraho ngaho ya yeah. uh, for example and say my students are not people who can give up easily abanyashuri banje sa abantu bapfa kurekera barahatana bagakomeza bakiga eh ya yeah. then that is to give to give up kurekera ugukora iki to grow up means to become an adult adult we say adult don't say adult adult umuntu mukuru nyine to become an adult gukura nibyo bita to grow to grow up you can say i was born in town but grew up in the village i was born in town but grew up in the village navukiye mu muji ariko ngurira hehe mu cyaro i was born in town but grew up in the village in the village yes then number six is to pack up pack murukumva ko pack nyine abanyarwanda bahise bavuga ko ari ugupakira to pack ubwo to unpack unpack no gupakurura unpack gupakurura to pack up means to pack until everything is in boxes gupakira ku buryo ibintu byose bijya mu makarito cyangwa mu mifuka that is to pack up gupakira ukuzuza that is to pack up yes for example you can say we packed up all materials we had yesterday we packed up all materials we had ejo hashize twapakiye ibikoresho byose twa dufite turuzuza that is to pack up pack pack up to pack up clean up is to clean a place until it is extremely clean that is to clean a place until it is extremely clean nukujya hantu ukahakora isuku koko ku buryo umuntu wese avuga ati hari cyo wakoze that is to clean up last week my sister cleaned up the room mu cyumweru cyashize mushiki wanje icyumba yaracyogeje kabisa yaragikoze kabisa turumu turatanga that is to clean up yes then uh, my daughter you can say my daughter mukobwa wanje my daughter mukobwa wanje i want you to clean up this fridge fridge frigo you can say i want you to clean up this fridge ndashaka ko ugirute usukura neza iyi frigo igacya ikera yes that is to clean up nice then please you should understand these phrasal verbs with uh, this preposition up yes the first phrasal verb that we have already seen is this one catch up menya iyi phrasal verb please catch up catch up the second one is this one chop up catch up chop up burn up catch up chop up burn up the fourth one is this one give up should know the meaning the fifth one is this one grow up pack up clean up utashye utahanye tutuntu uruta umuntu warebye ibindi bintu bidafite agaciro kuri YouTube ndakubwiza ukuri wowe hari byo winjije yeah then please i want you to learn this english lesson and to know some of the words that are here if you have any question you may write something there just in the comment section and the kamuri comment section kugira ngo bagenzi bawe bagukosore niba hari nibyo utari kumva ko rintero na ukoresheje chop up catch up clean up eh? burn up things like that bigenda biza ukoze myitozo mu cyongereza udakoze myitozo nta kimugera if you don't practice nothing you can get please practice because practice makes perfect my dear students allow me to remind you of something that is very important for you munyemerere mbibutsa kanu kingenze If you are a new student ni buri mushya please try to subscribe gerageza ukande kuri subscribe 
iryo jambo riri mu nyuguti zimeze zitya sub scribe subscribe if you subscribe to our channel you are going to get the lessons that we upload each and every time nubikora ugiye kubona masomo dushyiraho umunsi ku munsi nutabikora urabona iri somo gusa yes then ngwino wiga icyongereza twigishiza kimironko no kuri zoom abanyeshuri bari kuvuga icyongereza please come and learn english there i am teacher jasper we are together bye bye